Hello. We hope you are safe and sound at this time. I'm Alex from Doc365. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect a plan from Planner to your SharePoint page. With the help of this web part, you can work on your plan right from your SharePoint pages. Moreover, you can choose from a handful of views to justify your requirements in accessing Planner from your SharePoint sites. Let's see how a Planner web part can be added to a SharePoint page. I'm in my SharePoint start page right now. So I'm going to choose a SharePoint website to perform the tutorial. I think the marketing updates uh, SharePoint site will be ideal for this. So I'm choosing that particular site. And uh, uh, I think uh, I would like to choose the page uh, search analytics as of now. So I'm clicking on it. So this is a newly, newly created page and uh, it, is, it doesn't have uh, much data in it. So I think uh, we can add some uh, useful information into it so that um, it can do really good. So this is the page. It does have only a single line of content in it, text content. So in order to add the planner web part into it, we just first need to move the page to the edit, to the edit mode. So for that, click on edit option uh, seen at the right top corner of the page. So click on it and the page will be moved to uh, edit mode. So as you know, to add a new web part, you need to click on the plus icon. You will see when all hovering over uh, an existing web part or by the end or beginning of a, a new section. So I'm just clicking over here. I think uh, this space will be ideal for the new web part. So I'm clicking on it from the Web part, win, web part search window that appears, you need to search for planner and choose the web part. So that particular web part will be added. Need to, you need to first give it the title for this web part section. I'm going to give the name blog project and you need to choose an existing plan either. Either you can choose an existing plan or you can add a new plan. So I have just one plan uh, already in my planner platform that is a blog calendar. I'm choosing it. And by default, you will be shown a board display mode. So this is how it looks. It's like exactly like the default planner view. So uh, click on republish and make the page live. So uh, go to the page and let's see how it looks. Yes, uh, this is how the planner web part looks. And you can see all tasks, buckets, and all information regarding the plan over here. And you can add or edit any information uh, to this plan uh, like you do uh, through the planner platform. So as you can see, click on add task and you can uh, add a task here. Click on any of the tasks and you can uh, change the um, data in here. And you can also move one uh, task to another bucket if you wish. So that's very uh, useful uh, feature of this particular web part. And you can also change the view according to your uh, requirement. So if you wish to make changes to your plan, uh, add new tasks, change the information of your task, or if you wish to assign the task to different person right from your SharePoint site or page, uh, this view will be perfect. And let's now see the other uh, display options. So for that, click on the web part and select the edit option. So if you are choosing the charts all option, the view will be something like this. So this particular view or display option will be ideal for anyone who is looking forward to get an overview about their plan. This view provides a quick information about how many tasks are left, um, the status of all your tasks and a bucket wise information. Um, you can also see the tasks assigned to different members. So that's how it is. 
all other options such as status chart, member chart, bucket chart, priority chart, etc. You can choose uh, if you wish to see only this particular information. And if you want to see all information, you can choose chart all. And if you want to edit the task, you, you should be choosing the option both. And uh, after making your ch required changes, just click on republish. So the page will be saved and made live. So this is how our planner web part looks in our page right now. So uh, to make it a little more clear, I will like to show you this particular plan in the planner platform too. So let's go to the planner platform. Yeah, this is my planner homepage. So as you can see, this is the plan I just added to my SharePoint uh, page. Just click on it and yeah, this is the plan. So uh, this is the board view. Uh, if you click on charts, yeah, this is the chart view. We can get any view in our SharePoint site. So that is a very useful feature and make your choice according to your uh, requirements. I hope you got a clear idea about how to work with planner web parts in SharePoint from this video. Feel free to comment your queries below this video. Try out these features and let us know about your experience. We would like to know how uh, you uh, use these features and what changes it uh, brought to your productivity. Uh, see you in our next video. Have a good day.